You see, church, when I think, <clears throat> I am to think as a Christian first and foremost. Amen. Amen. Listen, listen, listen. When I emote over something, I am to emote as a Christian first and foremost. When I make choices and decisions in my life, I am to exercise my will as a Christian first and foremost. While it is true that becoming a Christian does not mean that I must abandon my culture and abandon my earthly citizenship, don't believe for one minute the lie of the devil that those things continue after conversion unchanged and unaltered. Either Christ is Lord of everything or he's Lord of nothing. You can't have it both ways. You don't have to leave your culture to become a Christian. But if anything in your culture contradicts Christianity, the culture got to go. Minister to citizens of any culture, with people from any race, with males and females. Why? Because Paul had experienced a true conversion. His own citizenship, his own race, his own maleness was no longer what was dear to him. That is what determined his perspectives, attitudes, and decisions in life. This is what liberals do. Theological liberals. They say this, Paul is a chauvinist pig. His male, his maleness is determining what he said about females. What determined what Paul said about females was Christ. Amen. It had nothing to do with him being a male. Yeah. Paul was not a male chauvinist. Yeah. That aspect of who he was died at the cross. Amen. Amen. Paul had actually and genuinely received Christ as his Lord and Savior. This completely freed him from the things that so many Christians today hold on to and fight for and what they use to define themselves. 